All right, here we go. Number 16 from our college algebra homework number four in our MyLab math. It wants us to find a polynomial function of degree three with real coefficients that has the given zeros. So that means that negative one, two, and negative six, those are going to be solutions of the equation if I set this equal to zero. These would also represent the x-intercepts of the function. So here's how we find that. We know we're going to have a degree of three, and these are our given zeros. So the way this starts, remember I said that if these are zeros, then these are numbers that x equals. So I know that these would be the solutions of the equation or the x-intercepts of the function. If I know that these are solutions, then I can move these back over to create factors. So that's going to be x plus 1 equal to 0, x minus 2 equal to 0, and x plus 6 equal to 0. So taking this a step further, remember when you're solving an equation, you set each factor equal to 0. Well, I can go backwards and say now the function in factored form is x plus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 6. And then what I can do if I need the function uh, in, well, let's call this standard form, if I need to know the individual terms, I can then multiply this out. And so to multiply this out, we're going to start with the FOIL method. First, outside, inside, last. Foiling the first two, we're going to get x squared, first outside is negative 2x, inside is plus 1x, and last but not least is negative 2, and then we're going to combine our like terms, and that's going to give us x squared minus x minus 2, and then we can multiply the next factor. So we're going to take our x squared and we're going to distribute to the x plus 6. All right, here we go. x squared times x is x to the third. x squared times 6, that is a plus 6x squared. And then the negative x is going to distribute, giving us negative x squared minus 6x. And last but not least, the negative 2 is going to distribute, negative 2x minus 12. So now what we can do is we can combine like terms and we're going to have our finished function. x to the third, I've got 6x squared minus x squared, that's 5x squared minus 6x minus 2x, that's minus 8x minus 12. So here's our function. So now we can see the answer they want. They just want the coefficient of x squared, which was 5, and we can check that. And I'm going to go above and beyond. I'm going to use Desmos, and I'm going to verify something I said a second ago. If I type this function into Desmos, x to the third plus 5x squared minus 8x minus 12. And if we zoom home, remember I said that these zeros, the negative 1, 2, and negative 6, if they're zeros, they're going to be x-intercepts. And so I can see that the function that I've created does have x-intercepts at negative 6, 2, and negative 1. So there's that problem done. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.